Hey pool players, hey Ron here. Welcome once again to the Pool Student Channel. Tonight, I wanna to show you something that's very valuable. Today, I was working on hitting center ball only on this cue ball and navigating a nine ball run out. What I learned is not only that it did get me in back in stroke, but I've been, I've been using way too much English, guys, on my ball when I'm trying to navigate these racks. Rather than, I've been relying on that, rather than uh, focusing more on staying on the correct side of the line and using a natural flow to get to the next shot. Tor Lori, brilliant guy, talks about this. One of my subscribers mentioned it to me and I, I got to thinking about it. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna try to do this and maybe it'll get me in stroke and it's just gonna be an overall good thing. So I've already looked at this. I've just thrown these balls out on the table. I already have realized that I, uh, it's gonna be tough because I gotta go from the eight to the seven, nine is down here. I gotta go back and forth on this table a little bit. So hopefully I can get through this rack. I wanna be kind of straight in on this two, too, or also. So I wanna probably be about where that five is. So I'm gonna play a little angle here. So if I roll too far, the five will kind of help me. I don't want to bump the five too much though. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's perfect. I need an angle on that four. straight in on that five if I can be. Watch out. Okay, that's good. I'd rather be above it than below it. I gotta get on that six and I gotta get a good angle on that six. That's pretty good right here. If I could be like right there would be really nice. So just barely tap this five in. Okay, that looks good. Now we've got to get on this. I'd like to be below this seven. I don't want to be above it. So I've got to put a little bit of a stroke on this. Come on down, come on down, come on down. Whew, it's pretty straight. But you know what? I'll be okay. This leaves me a little bit longer shot. I've got to have that angle on that eight for me to get back to this nine. I'm gonna accept the longer shot. I can't do a whole lot with a cue ball when I'm only getting center ball, but this is okay. All right. I tell you guys, I've been doing that all day today. It got me in stroke because these shots are not easy when you're just rolling it like that. Um, but the, the most important thing I can stress here is that we must think, and I've got videos on this, and even I haven't really internalized this to the degree I need to. Staying on the correct side of the line so it makes the flow of the cue, the, so it allows the flow of the cue ball to go directly to the next shot is key. We do not have to apply spin. You saw it there. That's all center ball. I'm, re I'm really, really excited about this. And I think if you guys can try this and, and try to work through this this way, you know, so many of us, me included, I thought I had to do magical things with my cue ball, force it, spin the heck out of it, bump it off rails, make it do all sorts of crazy things. It looks pretty, but it's not consistent. You can miss because there's throw on the ball. 
You've got to aim away from the pocket to make the ball. Lots of problems. So today the light switch turned on. I like this, guys. Give this a try. Let me know what you think. And I think we're going to all do better at our games if we do it this way. Thanks for watching. Till next time, keep on practicing.